There's a company in northern Nevada that takes some of the most disgusting waste in our city and turns it into energy. John Potter shows us how thousands of pounds of grease is being reused and reused again in Lovelock. Here's how it works. This truck goes around Reno picking up leftover dirty cooking oil. The magic is done here in Lovelock, where J.D. Driscoll just built the greenest plant in northern Nevada. Once we got the permit in place, got the plant built, started doing the processing, uh, so now 100% uh, of our waste that, that comes out of the Reno restaurants gets recovered here. The whole process is simple to describe. They take the greasy waste and heat it. The whole thing separates with the heat. So the more steam we add to it, the more it heats up and the more it separates the oil from all the gray matter and all the water. This is perpetual energy. The heat they use to do this comes from their own final product. If you look at the smokestack, the, the black thing on top of the building, you can see how clean it is. There's really nothing, you know, nothing coming out of there. By the time they're finished, that oil is better than diesel. The end result of the process is us getting this good oil uh, separate from the sediment and the food particles that come out of the restaurant. And what about those food particles, the leftovers leftovers? It's very nutrient and enzyme rich water that's perfect for the farm. We take it from a waste stream to a field, to a dairy or a feedlot, whether it's hay or grain, and back to the table where the consumer consumes it again, and ergo the name full circle. Not just green, the ultimate win-win, a business that turns what nobody wants into something everyone needs. We don't need to purchase fertilizer anymore. We don't have to purchase fuel to run the plant. It was just the initial capital investment um, that's the cost of the system. Isn't that amazing? What a self-supporting business model and a model for energy independence and fertilizer independence. It's about as green as you can get and all going on in Lovelock, Nevada. Covering the story, John Potter, Channel 2 News. Incredible story. And that company has been recycling restaurant grease for two years, but for seven years it's been reprocessing human waste. It may stink, but it's also useful. And we'll show you that side of the story tonight on Channel 2 News at 630. Welcome back everyone. During our five o'clock news, we showed you how a company is reprocessing restaurant grease and using it for fuel, even for their own plant. Well, the same company also finds a use for human waste. Water vacuum truck service gets what they need from septic tanks and area porta potties. They even picked up all the porta potty waste from Burning Man. I'm sure there's a lot of it and brought it to their plant in livestock. The company says the way in Lovelock rather the company says the waste is rich in nitrogen that plants thrive on and what they end up is with water rich in nutrients which they inject into the fields growing hay and wheat. They don't end up with much else. Yeah, and that only it gets emptied probably every three months or so. Um, so out of 300,000 gallons, maybe you have, you know, a yard of waste or so. And even though it's common out east and in countries like Japan, Human waste processing is prohibited in Washoe County. The company says Lovelock was the next closest place to do it. 